Hello and welcome to part 5 of my tutorials for Rapid Rig 2. In this tutorial we're just going to continue with how our character was posed before. Uh, I've tweaked it a little bit since then. But we're going to now use the Rapid Rig Anim script. So this is one of the shelf buttons that we created in the very first tutorial. If I click that, that'll load up this little UI here, which I can use to help uh, manipulate my character as I'm animating. So this is more for animators than uh, character TDs. So we'll just kind of work at the top and work our way down. And the first one is for fingers and toes. So in this case, my character has several fingers. It only has one toe, so it doesn't really apply to the toes. But for the fingers, if I highlight any control on my fingers, you can see that they kind of overlap. It's a bit messy sometimes. So what I can do is use this interface to quickly grab extra controls. So if I select one control, right now I have his uh, right finger two, joint two control. I could choose controls up and down, and that will grab all the controls for that one finger. Uh, and if I were to grab, say this one, same sort of thing, grabs all of them for me. So it makes it a little bit easier to rather than manually select each one. And we also have the ability to select across. So if I have, say, this first joint, kind of the knuckle joint selected, and I go controls across, it highlights all the ones across, and now I can grab just that sing that one joint all the way across. If I want to grab all the finger controls, I can simply go across and up and down. And that will highlight all of them. You can go in either order, right? So if I go across first and then up and down, it will highlight all of them as well that way. The next thing we have are the different poses that we can use. So right now, again, this only works on the YZ plane. So basically your character has to be facing positive Z for these to make much sense. This is especially useful for in games when you're doing you know, animations where you just want to mirror a pose for a walk cycle or something like that. So what I can do is, again, highlight any control. So you have to highlight a control on the character for these to work. Otherwise Maya doesn't know, or the script doesn't know which character you're trying to manipulate. So select a controller. And I'm going to just choose mirror. And what it does is it mirrors the character from one side to the other. I also have right to left. So it matches the right side to the left side. Left to right. Matches that. Now it's not perfect because our character, the, the center controls aren't uh, centered. So if they were zeroed out, then it would be a perfect mirror. But it's just mirroring like the arms and legs based on their relative position of the body. And then we also have things like reset transforms and reset extras. So again, I'll select any control here. And if I go reset extras, that resets things like IK and FK back to whatever the default is for the character. Gets rid of things like the curvature and any, you know, if I had something like head orient turned off and I were to reset that, that pops it back. Reset transforms resets all the transform data like translate, rotate, scales, all those back to their default. So zero for translate, zero for rotate, one for scale. And beneath that, I'm just going to undo here so I can kind of explain how this one works. There we go. We have IKFK matching. So normally when I'm in a certain mode, IK or FK, I can blend from one to the other. So right now my arm is in FK mode. If I switch it to IK, you can see the arm moves to match the IK controls. Now you may not want that all the time. You may want to have the IK controls just automatically come to where the FK is. So I'm going to turn on the left arm because that's the one I'm dealing with right now. You can turn on as many of these at a time as you want. But I'm going to work with just the left arm and I'm going to tell my IK controls, which are currently hidden, to update to the positions of the FK controls and then switch to IK. Just like that. So now if I blend between IK and FK, you can see it's a perfect blend. Whereas before, let's undo that, we had this happening. And I can do the opposite. So I'm in IK right now, and I can tell my FK controls to match my IK. And there we go. So now the FK is down where the IK is. This is really great for blending between the two different modes. So say you have, you're working with IK, you have your character's hand planted on something and then you can quickly switch to FK so you can get back to your arcs if you like. Same thing goes for the legs. I can switch between IK and FK on the legs as well. So just to show that, so I'm in IK mode and I want the 
I will do the we'll do the right leg this time. So if I switch between, well, they're exactly the same right now. So let's quickly change it up a little bit. Alright, so now if I switch, we should see a little bit of a difference. Okay, so I want my FK to go to my IK. So I'll turn on right leg, FK to IK. And there we go. So now if I blend between the two, you can see it's a perfect transition. And that's pretty much all there is. The next thing is just to select all the controls. So simply highlight one control and hit select all. And now you can grab all of them if you just want to reset, you know, say just the translates or something or whatever you may need whatever you may want to do with that. If this isn't enough control for you and you want something with a little bit more as an animator, I do have another script available on Creative Crash called Rapid Poser. This is the setup for it. So when you first launch it, you get a custom UI to set the number of fingers, toes, spine, neck, if you want tune arm, tune legs. I'll save these, these off for now, just so it's a little less cluttered. And I'll hit apply. And here we go, we get something that looks similar to a character. So I have a head, jaw, eyes, left, right, left arm, right arm. They're color coded to match my character, the controls here. And I can use this to select controls, do uh, the same sort of reset transformations, reset extras, but I can also uh, mirror on a destination frame. So if I'm doing something like a walk cycle, I can pose on say frame one, and then I can say use destination frame and have it do a different pose at the destination frame as well. And then I can also do a batch mirror for animation. So I can set a start and end timeline and I can tell it to mirror all that stuff. So if I have an animation, I can save that file, save on a new one and just have it mirror all that or copy and paste the animation further down and just mirror it that way as well. I'll go over this one in more detail on that actual page. But you can also do things like loading in the script, uh, sorry, loading in the name of the rig. So if I have use name turned on, I don't even have to select anything. It will know which character I'm working with. And I can highlight the different controls on the character this way. I can use shift select so that grabs all the different controls. Just like that. I can also, this is similar, so I can grab you know, the finger controls all the way across or up and down and grab all the controls. So just a little bit more uh, there. And then you can also save and load poses if you want. So you can save these from one character to another. Really useful as well. And I think that's about it for this tutorial. So that pretty much concludes the tutorials for um, Rapid Rig 2. If you have any questions, do feel free to get in touch with me either on Creative Crash or you can send me an email at dustin at rapidrig.com. Thanks for watching.